Hello and good afternoon. My name is Jason Vo and I'm the JWSC Capital Projects Manager and your host of The Flow Show. Currently, the JWC has around 13 active construction projects that we're managing and would like to report our projects on the three largest. However, today we have a special guest, our newest Glen County EMA Director, Andy Lienza. Good afternoon. My name is Andy Leonza. I am the new Glen County EMA Director. I'm here to update y'all on some projects that we have going on in EMA and uh, glad to be here, Jason. Thank you, Andy. It's really good to see you again. I'm, yeah. I'm happy with your promotion and all that stuff and we look forward to working with you in a bright future. Yeah, I came from uh, JWSC uh, before I uh, came on to the, the county. I was uh, emergency management and uh, communications. So currently, we hit the ground running as soon as I started. We're already working on our hazard, hazard mitigation plan. That's coming up. We have evacuation study uh, with the county that's, that's coming up to look at our evacuation zones. We're also working on our planning for our hurricane exercises. I know your team is going to be a part of that. Isn't that right, Jason? Uh, yes, sir. We're always ready to rock and roll with you guys. Yeah, so being that I, I came here uh, previous to EMA, I'm very familiar with the uh, plans in place of the Joint Water Sewer, and uh, I'm happy to say that they're up to date as we, we enter into this season. Uh, currently, our team is preparing their updates. Uh, EMA documents is not something that you typically want to leave on the shelf. It's living documents, so we partner with uh, multiple agencies throughout the county to get these missions accomplished. EMA is not a a silo, it's a partnership with our community responders. Good. So um, now that you've just been in Glen County for a, a few months now, correct? It's about my second month. I was at the Joint Water Sewer for about a year. So what are the challenges that you've seen coming from your old EMA position to this new EMA position? Well, so that's that's a good question, Jason. So in Prior to coming to the Joint Water Sewer, I was the EMA director for Columbia County, which is near Augusta. And Columbia County is a, um, it's an in inland county, so we were the recipient of the hurricane uh, evacuees. So, you know, a challenge, you know, or something new to me, the principles are still the same, but something new is, is going to be the actual, uh, the mechanics of the evacuation and that's why I feel like it's a really good time that I came on that we had this uh, up-to-date evacuation study so I'm getting very familiar with the current plans that are in place and as we go to update the new ones we still have some really strong bench strength here so whereas that might be a, a normal challenge to somebody coming in here we have uh, just incredible staff that keep kept their plans up to date. Wonderful. The departmental plans, they're already all in place and, and up to date. And like I said, we have this brand new evacuation study information with us. So I feel like, you know, you know, that's something I'm really focusing on this year. So uh, I, we've identified the difference, you know, um, like I said, we were receiving, now we're sending. So we're working on our, our need a ride and, and all our programs to make sure that we have no disruption of services. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, let's see, uh, well, as a resident of Glen County, well, what do you think the residents, uh, is there anything we can do to help you guys out? Great question. Uh, the one thing that we're going to do, so coming up, I'll, I'll circle back to, to help us out because that is, that's coming up in 2023. But right now, the thing that we can ask everybody to do is pay attention to the updates that we, we send out as we get into hurricane season. We want to focus on, you know, self preparedness initiatives. So there's the Ready Georgia app that, you know, folks can download on the App Store. It's from GEMA and from FEMA. You know, there's information that'll, that'll come out. The Ready app, uh, Ready, you know, the Ready uh, information from Ready.gov is incredible information. We're going to share all that with the public. I have a bunch of new publications that's coming in from FEMA. If anybody wants information, we're going to have hurricane preparedness uh, talks throughout the community. We're already setting that up, working with the commission to awesome. figure out where we're going to schedule those. And next year, we're going to have a, a joint uh, effort to put together a community emergency response team. And that's going to be a group of citizens that can come to these classes. And we're going to have about an eight-week course that we give to, pe to get people to be self-sufficient during a disaster. So that's coming up in 2023, that we're going to initiative that we're going to start to train the community on how to help themselves and how to help their neighbors. Oh, wow. So... so 
Wow, that sounds really cool and all this stuff. Lots, so. lots going on. Like I said, we, <laughs> we came in, we hit the ground running. There were some great things that we had in Columbia County that we're going to take down here. And then there's also some, some great initiatives that this county has that I'm learning. I mean, you have a, a wonderful search and recovery team that's already in place of volunteers. And they're actually going to be part of maybe the instructors for the, uh, the CERT team. So. Oh, awesome. Well, anyway, Jason, thank you for having me. I appreciate the, the uh, ability to come on and talk to you today. Like I said, follow us on Facebook. Look up Glenn uh, EMA and you'll see us. And we're going to give all our emergency alerts up there. Also, Go to uh, Joint Water Sewers site and go to the Glen County uh, EMA site and sign up for Code Red Alerts to, get, to receive uh, mer emergency notifications. Thank you so much, Andy. You're a big help and best wishes to you. Thank you. Wow, that was really interesting with what uh, Andy presented. So I'm looking forward and uh, let's see how it goes. I think he's going to do very well. So now back to the project updates. First up is the Academy Creek Water Pollution Control Rehab, which is being upgraded by Ruby Collins. The project is approximately 80% complete. The mechanical bar screens are delivered and installation is pending completion of demolition in the headworks. In comparison to the 25 year old screens, the modernized screens are enclosed typed above the water level to provide additional control protection that allows for the odors to be routed to the new odor control system. The new effluent filter structures is online and is filtering settable solids and floatable scones with each side passing up to 14 million gallons per day. Clarified number five, baffle curtains and feed well construction activities are ongoing. The interior of the motor control center building, electrical conduits and equipment installation are wrapping up. The major items that are outstanding are plant-wide SCADA upgrades and the final site improvements are to be scheduled right afterwards. As of the last construction progress meeting, the works is satisfactory and we anticipate the project to be completed by the end of June 2022. Next up is the SPLOS 2016 force main improvements. This is one of the final SPLOS projects planned to accommodate the growth and future expansion of the surrounding communities. The project limits is in the North Mainland District starting from Pump Station 4110 and runs along the portion of Harry Driggers Boulevard, Canal Road, and O. Jessup Road, which eventually connects the existing gravity sewers system at the end of Ogden Road. Nearly 18,000 linear feet of 12 to 20 inch force main and 2,400 linear feet of 12 to 14 inch water main has been installed via open cut or drill method by TB Landmark Construction out in Jacksonville, Florida. Their drill crew has completed six of eight drill segments. The remaining segments are 20 inch diameter sewer from Air National Guard to Moon Doggies and Moon Doggies to the Canal Road self storage. The Ogden Road portion is anticipated to be started by the end of April. To date, the contractor work has been satisfactory with no issues to report and we anticipate the project to be completed within budget by the end of July 2022. And finally, let's talk about the system-wide water meter replacement program. Majority of the water meters in the JWSC service areas are heading towards the end of the life cycle. The replacement of outdated meters is necessary for the JWSC to conduct an efficient system-wide audit. The advanced meter replacement program will allow the JWSC to pinpoint water leaks, locate pressure problems, along the waterways and remote reading by wireless network that is easily accessible online by the customer and the JWSC staff. The JWSC expects a noticeable amount of money saved over the long term with the new meters installed. To accomplish this, the JWSC has teamed up with MNE Construction from Forsyth, Georgia and will need to replace the existing meters serving your home or business, thus requiring a short outage. So, you're wondering, how much money is this going to cost me? There's no additional cost to the customer for upgrading to the, the new meter. The system-wide meter replacement program has been fully budgeted in the long-term financial plan of the JWSC. The work complete to date has been satisfactory and per contract requirement, with an average of 80 meters replaced per day for a total amount of nearly 10,000 meters installed. We anticipate the program to be completed by the end of December 2023. So there you have it. Our three main projects in this field for this quarter are Academy Creek Water Pollution Control Rehab, SPLOS 2016 Force Main, and the Water Meter Replacement Program. I hope to see you on the next project updates. Thank you for your time and know that every day, the staff of the JWSC is here to serve you.